A very good day to you people. My name is Mohit and guys today we'll see how to style a form in Dreamweaver CS 5.5. Guys what you see in front of you are two images. One is a GIF image and the other one is the texture. Both of uh, them are situated in my local side folder guys. Alright so let's uh, start building a form and then starting it in Dreamweaver CS 5.5. The first thing that I want to do is I want to save the file after giving a title and uh, CSS style form should be the title let me save the file let me just call it form alright uh, guys next what I'll do is I want to have a background image as the body of the document so I'll say page properties uh, I'll go into page properties and then uh, let me select a background image click on the browse button this is the the texture that I want to have as the background image guys let me say okay by default everything gets repeated along the X and the Y axis guys so I'm not gonna touch this alright and um, let me straight away say okay let me show you a preview in Google Chrome wonderful so um, the body has a background texture great let me go back to Dreamweaver now guys uh, the next thing that I wish to do is I want to uh, insert a div tag inside which we'll be building the form so I'll say insert layer objects div tag okay let me call it div1 let me click on the new CSS rule and uh, say okay guys uh, for the div I wish to create a uh, you know I wish to use a background image and the size of the image is 610 by 458 so the uh, div has to have the same size so the first thing that I'll do is I'll go to the box category and define the width as 610 and the height as uh, 458 alright temporarily let me also give it a, uh, a background color just for the moment alright and then let me say OK and OK once again let me show you a preview in Google Chrome after saving the changes guys everything is fine except the div is actually top, tucked in the top left corner which is something I don't want I want it to be in the center of the page let's see how I can uh, do that alright so let me go back to div 1 rule and uh, go to the box category let me have the left and the right margins as auto that will center the div uh, horizontally not vertically guys and as far as uh, vertical alignment is concerned let me keep it up give it a top margin of 100 pixels uh, let me then have a preview right more or less okay so let me go back now guys as I said I wish to use a, a background image so the first thing that I'll do is I'll remove this text I don't need it let me double click on div1 and uh, go to the background section default the color I don't need the color anymore I want to use an image this is the image email icon that I uh, decided as the background image and uh, I'll say ok let me have a preview in Google Chrome wonderful and guys the form that will be putting up uh, for you will be inside this uh, envelope image let me go back to Dreamweaver okay guys now the next thing that I wish to do is I wish to have a border okay so let me go back to the one style and uh, <coughs> let me go to the border category uh, let's keep it at solid all around uh, let me keep the width at 10 pixels and as far as the color is concerned guys uh, let me keep it at uh, burly wood now in uh, one of my earlier tutorials guide guys had spoken that we have 147 color names that can be used in uh, HTML documents this is one of them alright so it's burly wood I'm gonna say okay let me show you a preview in Google Chrome now alright now guys what happens by default whenever we add padding and borders to divs they actually grow outside the div so the div kind of uh, increases in size but there's a way to control that I can make the border grow inside the div rather than outside and let's see how we can do that uh, what I'll do is for the pound sign div 1 these are the different properties out here uh, let me add one more property and the property is called box sizing so that's box 
sizing and uh, border box when I select border box as the the value for box sizing instead of content box the content box the default guys whether I mention or not okay what happens is that the border will now grow inside the dev rather than outside let me check after saving the changes all right you uh, um, the, the border has actually grown grown inside guys but if you see the the image now isn't uh, centrally located anymore I can fix that in a moment uh, no problems at all let me go back to dev one and uh, go to the background uh, category let me say I don't want the image to repeat and then let me say background image center along the x-axis as, as well as the y-axis let me say ok and I should be fine now let's take a preview wonderful now guys I have enforced the border to grow inside or to go inside the dev and uh, wonderful so this is the area in which I'll be keeping uh, my form fields now let me start adding the form fields guys all right so let me get back to dream viewer once again rather I'll go to dev one and uh, I want to give it a little bit of a padding top padding of 50 pixels as well as uh, left padding of 50 pixels let me say okay all right then guys um, please notice that I'm in the classic workspace and when you're in the classic workspace guys you will get these tabs and these icons please notice that I'm in the forms tab and in the forms tab I have this uh, first icon that I need to click and uh, the moment I do that guys notice that it actually puts up a uh, area inside which I should uh, you know a dashed red bordered area inside which I should be building my form now that's an important step guys also notice that the method in the property is set to post it could be either get or post I will uh, happily keep it at post because I'll be using a PHP script to action this or to make this form function guys where you see this action is where you need to push put the PHP uh, script okay is where the PHP script will come so uh, what you need to do is you just need to click on uh, this browse for file button and locate your PHP script and this should make the form function the gu guys but we are only confining ourselves to uh, creation installing and validation of the form we are not going to talk about the PHP script but guys if you need a PHP script please request and I'll give it to you no problems okay so uh, making sure that I'm inside this uh, red bordered area let me click on this icon for inserting a text field let me give it an ID of name and a label of uh, name space colon now guys the IDs that I'm giving uh, should exactly match the I uh, you know the uh, the IDs that will be uh, that will be used in the PHP uh, script they are case sensitive and they cannot contain spaces okay so when I'm building uh, the PHP script I have to use the same uh, the same uh, structure so it, it cannot be a small n then out there okay the ID has to match there as well uh, make sure that attached label f uh, tag using the font attribute is checked on and uh, before form item is also checked on or selected let me then say okay all right let me hit enter once then let me click on this uh, text field once again this time let me say email and email once again space colon now labels are shown guys IDs are not wonderful let me hit enter once again and uh, this time let me insert a text area instead so let the ID be message and if the ID is message I used to s you you know I have to use the same uh, uh, format in the PHP script as well let me call the labels comments space colon labels are shown IDs are not shown guys let me say okay all right now what I'll do is after the comments label I would want to have a line break alright wonderful let me hit enter once again now the next thing that I wish to include is a select menu fine 
let me give it an ID of uh, where and a label of uh, where did you find us let me say okay alright let me then select this drop down arrow click on the list values to add some values to this uh, select of the drop down menu let the first uh, item be on uh, Yahoo okay so value Yahoo let the second label be on um, YouTube and uh, on YouTube cool guys these values will be short in the email once the data is grabbed from this form and uh, then uh, it could be other search engine and let me have the value as other and let me just say select any one and let's not give it a value let me I'm gonna move uh, select any one uh, right to the top of the list alright let me then say ok let me so you show you a published preview in Google Chrome guys after saving the changes uh, this is the way the form looks now pretty pretty good alright let me go back to Dreamweaver guys let me hit enter now um, I just need to add two buttons guys so I'll click on this button icon I don't need to add the ID and the label guys Dreamweaver will uh, take care of it let me then uh, just say ok and then uh, select the button and go to the properties and just click on this reset form so what happens is that the summit button now turns into a reset button wasn't that easy next I'll make sure that uh, the cursor is blinking next to the reset button I click on this button icon once again and uh, again I don't need to put the ID in the label dream viewer will automatically take care of it I'll say ok this time I don't need to change anything let me take a preview in Google Chrome there we are alright actually I just want an extra space out here well, let me have a preview now this uh, looks much better all right okay guys uh, next what I need to do is I need to resize uh, rather I need to style the form using CSS uh, let's see how we can actually do that okay cool uh, guys what I'll do is uh, I'll click on this uh, plus uh, icon for the new CSS rule and for the very first time guys introducing something called uh, a pseudo selector class and I'll say a colon empty now what this means is anything that is empty please uh, impart a specific style to it so guys as you can notice the text fields are empty so is the comments field alright even the buttons so anything that uh, does not have anything inside the tags okay so guys actually the name and the email are input tags and they, they don't have any text inside them okay neither does the text area have, uh, has any text inside it so this compound rule that I'm creating called colon empty is actually a pseudo class uh, you know it's called pseudo selector class that I'm creating will apply to anything that is empty let's check it out let me say okay all right let me then choose a background color mm, let me keep it at white for the moment I'll, I'll tell you why just for the moment let me then say ok let me have a preview ok guys uh, nothing changes except these buttons which are now white they weren't looking like like this earlier they look something like this kind of grayish but they have turned white now alright no issues let me go back to Dreamweaver ok guys uh, now what I'll do is I'll go to the the dev one uh, rule and uh, <coughs> rather I'll go to the empty rule that we have just created and uh, guys what I need to do is uh, what I really wanted to do is use RGBA color model so RGBA color model because I wish to have uh, a transparent color so let me say 255 comma 255 comma 255 now that's the color white and then comma and then a alpha value or a transparent value let me give it at point uh, let me let me try point three alright 
let me then save the changes take a preview lovely guys as you can see that the name the email field as well as the uh, text area field are now transparent and the background the envelope can actually be uh, seen through it amazing okay let me get back to dreamweaver all right guys uh, next what i'll do is i'll create yet another rule and uh, let me drop down the contextual selector to a compound this time what i'm gonna do is yet another sly uh, foxy trick i'm gonna say empty and then a colon once again i'm combining two pseudo class selectors awesome focus all right focus and uh, let me then say okay and all I need to change in the focus state guys is the background color let me just keep it uh, white for the moment say okay and then next what I'll do is guys I'll take the same color from the empty pseudo selector class alright I'll copy it and I'll paste it here where we have the color white and all I'll do is I'll just change the alpha in the RGBA color model from a 0.3 to a 0.6 let me save the changes have a look okay so guys uh, notice the moment I, I, I select the name field or the email field using the tab key or the comments um, field using the tab key the transparency actually changes uh, the same happens with the buttons that's looking awesome all right <coughs> all right uh, let me get uh, back to dreamweaver guys now that the form is ready okay using something called uh, a colon empty and a colon empty colon focus uh, compound rules awesome we will validate the form quickly so all i'll do is i'll go to ap elements uh, rather i'll go to tag inspector go to behaviors click on this plus button go down to validate forms and uh, since the the name input field is selected I'll make sure that it's required I'll also make sure that the email field is required but it will accept only the email address and also make sure that the text uh, area uh, the comments field is required as well and I'll say okay now that has validated our form the only change that I need to make is uh, I'll need to say rather guys uh, I think I made a mistake I'll, I'll, uh, I'll remove uh, this event I'll add it once uh, all over again I need to make sure that the form uh, is selected guys that was uh, one mistake that I made here so making sure that the form is selected I can click on the tag making sure that the form is selected and I'll follow the same procedure so validate form name required email required accepting only email address text field required which will accept anything let me say ok and as you can see it will validate on submit when somebody clicks the submit button guys let me just press F12 on the keyboard and uh, have a look okay so if I were to skip all these three fields and click on the submit button I get a JavaScript alert which says name is required, email is required, message is required. So the form is validated, guys. And uh, so, guys, how did you like this tutorial? Uh, I'll come up with the more tutorials in Dreamweaver CS 5.5, guys. Or the next tutorial could be in Flash with Access Script 3. You have a good day. Peace. And, guys, if you really want the PHP script to uh, fire up this form, please request it. And even if you want the HTML uh, form, that you can see in front of you just in case you like the texture in the background uh, please request it too ask and you shall receive bye bye